Hello, this is Sandra, and welcome to my sexy edition. Totally joking. Okay, welcome back to my channel, everybody. So, I am doing makeup for a wedding today. Not my wedding, a cousin of our family. At first, I was kind of playing with the idea of kind of doing like crazy eye makeup and like a color to match my dress that I'm going to be wearing. So, of course, this is not the dress I'll be wearing. These are my pajamas, however. Then I decided to not really do a matchy matchy thing. I am doing a matchy matchy thing with my purse and my shoes. And I think that's the most important thing when it comes to getting ready for a wedding is that it's important to look the part. You don't really wanna match what you're wearing necessarily to your makeup. I'm gonna be doing a neutral eye just because I think a neutral eye is easy to maintain throughout the night. I think the thing I'm focusing on today is makeup longevity. So I need my makeup to last from right now, which is like 11 o'clock in the morning to two o'clock this morning, like the next morning. Wow. So, you know, longer than 12 hours. So I think this is going to be a very daunting task. I've already moisturized. So because like my skin wasn't feeling extraordinarily dry or anything like that, I just I've put on type of serum, I guess. It actually is supposed to reduce like dark spots on your skin. So I put that on. I put my Origins Daytime Ginseng Gel Cream on. And then I also use some of my Tarte Miracle Oil um, just to really make my skin look plump and moist. <laughs> and all those words I hate to use on my channel. We are going to get started with a lot of primer. I'm going in with a big mama today. So we're going to use Smashbox Photo Finish Minimizing Pore Primer. This is my love. Um, this one and the Benefit Pore Filling Primer are probably my two favorites. This stuff is amazing. And I was going to totally like clear my pores last night in the shower and I didn't. Oh, and I'm missing my nose ring. Oh my gosh. I know where it's at. It's in the bathroom. I'll put it on after my makeup's done because it usually gets in the way of this process anyway. So I just took a little bit and I'm going to put it basically everywhere today because this stuff will make your makeup last longer and it'll smooth your face. And the trick is to press it into your pores. I'm applying more because I am actually going to put it on the rest of my face too. I think the number one way to maximize how long your makeup wears for in a day is to use a primer. That is the number one rule. And this stuff, I find that it pills a little bit, so if you kind of rub it off, it's just going to feather off. So I'm just going to focus on pressing it in. I had to bring out the hot rollers today because my curling iron, I have a really crappy curling iron. It's from like, feels like it's from the 80s, but it only has one setting, one heat setting. It's a very wide barrel, so it does make really wide curls. And I'm looking for curls that are going to last. <laughs> so basically everything needs to last today. Um, so I've sprayed my curls with heat protectant before and then let it dry. And then I put these in when they were really hot. And they've been in for about an hour now. But I'll take it out once my makeup is done. I'm right kind of close to it before we're going to go. Because I have a style of mind, and the style might take maybe 15 minutes or so, but basically it, it's not going to take that long. And my hair is basically going to be nice and curled, and these curl really, really well. So I'm going to use for foundation my Tarte Face Tape in 35G Medium Golden. I reserve my face tape foundation for days like today. So it's not going to be that warm. It's only like I think a total of 15 degrees today is the maximum. And I'm actually not going to use much of this either. I use two pumps right on my sponge and I'm going to minimize how much product I put on my forehead. But I will be covering everything up with my sealer. So I will be doing my spots. I'll be using my color corrector for my under eyes today. And I find that when I use my Tarte Shape Tape products, I really like to keep it the line. Um, it does make my skin will look the best that it possibly can look. So I will be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, of course, the stuff everybody knows is the best for not only coverage, but also how long it lasts. And this is light medium sand, so it will be, I believe it's 27S, so it will be light enough and I will be doing my um, highlight all over my face. I will be using my Hollywood Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I am also going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Powder because again, this stuff 
I mean, I love my hourglass veil. That stuff would be a close second that I could use, but I need something that's going to really set my foundation and set that concealer and make it so it's not going anywhere. I really went to town with this blender, so that I used the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, and I really just tapped it into my skin, and even when I thought I was done, I just kept going. It's very important. I mean, I'm already experiencing some overhead creases here. So a trick to kind of get rid of the product, if you've already applied too much product to one area of your face that you don't want it, is take a clean area of your sponge and just kind of lightly tap it, and it will kind of get rid of that problem area for you. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. color correcting stick in the peach shade for under eye circles. I'm just going to swipe it on directly from the tube and keep it concentrated to just where the area is darkest. I'm going to kind of show you what I'm going to keep in my purse as far as makeup is concerned and I guess everything else is in my purse. I'll show you which purse I'm using for today, show you everything that's in there for a wedding, what I would bring with me just to make sure my makeup lasts all night. So I'm taking this sponge again, and now I'm just going to tap out the edges, and maybe I'll blend it just a little bit so that the product is not just sitting in my wrinkles. So I am, like I said, I'm going to go in and highlight all the areas today. And then once I blend that out, I am adding my cream contour just to make my contour last a long time tonight, as well as my Hollywood filter, and then we'll powder over top of those products. So it is a little bit brighter, like I said, and I don't need too much because that cream contour really makes the hollows of your cheeks stand out so I'm just going to come down a little bit here and when I do my nose I'm actually going to contour right here so I'm going to add some product here and right down the center and remember what I said that it'll, if you let it kind of let it dry for a bit it will kind of last longer or give you more coverage so I might actually go in with my contour right after I'm done this and we can blend everything out together and then I might add just a little bit right here. So now I am using my Tarte Tardiest Pro Glow Palette. I am in love with this palette. I am so happy that I found this on sale because I've looked on the Sephora website recently and it is not on sale anymore but they still have the product. So I'm using my Sigma Extreme Structure Contour F04. I'm going to dip it into that cream product here. It looks very dark and daunting in this pan, and I guess it is, so that's why I suggest go in with a very light hand. So I start off by my ear, and I always bring it up a tad higher than I normally would, because my jaw, if I bring it down too low, I have no jaw and no chin, and I want to make my, my cheekbones go up. I want to, to make them the appearance of lifting them a bit. So I start off higher, start kind of closer to my ear, suck in my cheek, and bring it down and around, just like so. And we will be applying a powder contour after, so... This part I'm not too concerned about getting 100% perfect. I will keep this brush for the contour and then my sponge to blend out the highlight. And then kind of the good thing about this product is that if I bring it low enough on my cheek, it kind of acts as like a darker blush. I know this isn't a blush at all, but for my skin tone, I like having a dark blush. And then once all the products are blended out of my face, I'll kind of show you what I mean. And then we're going to put some on the nose, but I'm actually going to use a different brush. I might use this just a little bit to contour around the hairline here, but I do prefer powder products up there. And I'll use this tiny brush. This is technically an eye brush, but it's the E37 All Over Blend. And contour my nose. So you can see where I'm putting the darker contour here. So for me, I've never done this where I put like the contour and the highlighter on my face at the same time. Um, usually I do it in steps and it doesn't look this crazy, but this looks crazy. But in the end, it's kind of the same thing. But a little bit underneath my lip, this kind of gives the effect of your lip being a little bit more pouty and again I usually just use powder for my jaw and I will be bronzing my neck a little bit because my dress my shoulders are covered but my neck and my cleavage and my chest here area here are very exposed that is it for that I'm going to go back in with my sponge now quickly blend out my concealer and hopefully I didn't wait too long and then just to blend it out further I'll just go in with the foundation side I will bring it up on the lid because it's a nice base for my eyeshadow. And then I'll go back in with my brush and blend out this nose contour here. I will bring it down around a little bit. Now we're ready for the Hollywood filter. So I do use my sponge for this step. And remember, it is very important that you use all of your cream products before you use any powder. So do not set your face yet if you are not done with cream products. So concealer, I am going to keep this aside because I might need to touch up later during the evening. I will take my Hollywood filter and I apply it right from the container here, right from the applicator. 
I put some on my cheekbone, kind of like a pre-highlight down my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and a little bit on the forehead. And on this one, I just tap really, really lightly because this product is really, really nice and it doesn't take much to blend it out and you don't really want to spread it. These are the areas that you kind of want that little bit of highlight to be, so you don't really want it anywhere else on your base. I use my dual fiber powder blush brush, the F15. I very rarely use this, but in this instance, I don't want any of my cream product to go anywhere. So I'm dipping into my Tarte Shape Tape Powder here, and I'm just going to put it all over. I'm going to tap very, very lightly because I don't want to move any of that cream product. So the eyes have creased a little bit on top, but I'm not really concerned because when I do my neutral eyeshadow, we will be going in and setting that with a nice skin-colored powder anyway. And I'm going to focus on the eye area, especially the under eyes here. And then we will go back in with the powder brush, the F20, just to really fluff out the rest of the face and make sure we have a seamless finish with the powder and I might actually just go back in with my F06 powder sweep this is my favorite brush for an under eye work and even around the nose any small areas that you want to get at and then sometimes just to blend in that powder I go around in little circular motions once the powder has been applied because then you know the cream product won't move anywhere on your face. And it is nice. Um, today is not, like I said, it's not going to be very warm. So any product that I apply on my face today shouldn't really move that far. So now we need to contour with powder. And I was going to do a little bit of bronzing with my butter bronzer, but I already have a lot of product on my face and I don't want to overdo it anymore. So what I'm going to do is go in with my contour brush, my F40. My large angled contour and I am going to take my Too Faced Cocoa contour because this one has the darkest colors and I will just contour my face everywhere where I need to contour. So here I'm actually just mixing all of the colors but I'm kind of focusing for my skin tone on the deep contour because I already have pretty dark skin but for someone who's unsure or who has a much lighter skin tone I would definitely go into the lighter one to start with. I'll do a slight bit on my nose here under the lip and because I haven't done the jaw or the forehead at all I just go in pretty confident with the dark color because your face needs balance. You can't just contour your cheek and your nose and then not do your forehead or temples or your jawline. You could probably get away without doing your jaw, but I do it just to sharpen up the line a little bit. And I could also use this product to bronze my neck a little bit. Although I might kind of go back and do that when I have my dress on, because then I know exactly what parts of my skin are showing. And you want to do just under the jaw. Normally you would keep your face just normal and then just try to contour from there. Um, but sometimes for me it's hard to see in my little mirror here. And now what I'm going to actually do, I do want to darken up my eyes. So I'm going to take my Avon glimmer stick um, true color eyeliner in brown chocolate it's waterproof I'm going to do my water lines the upper and the lower and I'm also going to do my brows so I'll quickly show you what I'm using before I go in I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in chocolate my dip brow pomade in taupe and I am using this Real Techniques little tiny brow brush because it's the only angled one I have and then to top it I'm going to use my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer a mascara in soft brown and this just kind of gives my brows a little bit of light. I'm going to blush. So this is my Tarte Blush Bliss Blush Palette. <laughs> I'm going to use my F10 by Sigma. I'm going to swipe it in all of these colors. Smile a little bit and slightly dust the apples of your cheeks and make sure that you blend up into your contour. And I also dust my chin a little bit even though I put my highlight on my chin. I really use this to balance out my face so if you apply a product on one area of your face I think I've said this before, you want to also add it to another area just so your face doesn't look out of balance. It just looks more natural that way, but I don't do the forehead. Leave the forehead alone. I'm going to spray my face with my Morphe Continuing Setting Mist. Continue with spray. Spray your face. And now if you have a lot of powder on this on your face, this helps to really meld them together. So it just helps to make it look more seamless and natural. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll be right back and then we'll have my eyebrows done and the water rooms of my eyes. So I kept messing with my eyebrows and I wasn't completely happy with them so I'm going to stop. I'm not going to touch them, I'm just going to leave them. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this palette once more to add my highlight. So I am going to leave it out also to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone once I am done everything. But for now I am just going to take 
this F64 Soft Blend Concealer by Sigma. I'm going to go into the color Strobe, which is my favorite highlight color, and I'm just going to add a little bit to my nose here. This stuff smells like chocolate. I love it. I'm going to add some a little bit to my chin, Cupid's bow, and of course my cheekbones. So the reason why, and even though it's for a wedding and I need my makeup to last all night, I used a brown eyeliner instead of a black because a lot of times, especially with like pictures or filming, Black looks just too harsh, even though I am going into black mascara and of course black lashes. I just want my, my liner to not look so harsh. I will be doing a very thin line of liquid liner on the top lash line with my Better Than Sex um, by Too Faced liner. Next we are going to start on eyes. So I have both of these palettes out and I think I'm just going to try working with this one because, like, I mean, there's lots of colors in here that I can use. I'm going to use my E50 fluff brush. And I'm going to go in with this color Silk Robe. So I could use Buff It Out, but it's a little too light for me. So I'll go in with Silk Robe. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid area. And then next, I will be going in with a clean E40 Tapered Blending. I will probably do a cut crease. And I want to do something that is still a little bit fancy, if you know what I mean. So neutral, but a little bit like pop. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's start with, not love light, but it's still too light. I'm going to start with Afternoon Delight. Tap off the brush and I'm going to start in the crease. And with this part here, I'm really not going to take much time because if I'm going to build the color up, this is going to be a very soft gradient anyway, and it's already going to look really nicely blended. Right? And then next I'm going to go in with Embrace Me, a little bit darker now, same brush, and I'll stick more to the outside corner with this one. So this is the Morphe E27. I'm just going to add a little bit of love language now. I'm just going to buff out the top. And then to deepen up the crease even further, I'm going to take a much smaller brush. So now this is going to be the Morphe M139, and I don't really want it to be red. I don't want a warm, if that makes sense, because my dress is more cool colors. So I'm going to go in with this shade DM Me and really stick to the crease here. And really, here I'm using more of a stamping motion. I am sticking to the outside corner. Now I am kind of rounding out this outside corner here, and with the same brush, I'm going to make it even a little tiny bit darker with the shade Spank Me. <laughs> but I don't want black because black is just going to be a little too harsh. Yeah, and now before we go in with the cut crease, even at this point I don't even really have to do a cut crease. I could probably just put one of these sparkly shades with my finger or a wet brush and put it right here, but I think we're still going to use some concealer for that. I'm actually going to go in now on the lower lash line. I'm going to take this small smudge brush. This is an M213 by Morphe. And I'm going to go in with that same shade, Spank Me. And I'm going to put a fairly thin line, but we are going to eventually blow it out. So I'm bringing up the color from the upper lash line here. And I'm kind of blending it into that dark brown liner. And I'm just bringing this down a tad. That's why I'm not too concerned about when I put my liner on. Sometimes it gets on the lower lash line. But that's also kind of the point, because I like blending it out with shadow because it, it just gives your lower lash line a little bit more definition. So we're going to take a little bit of a larger brush now. So this is going to be the pencil brush, a large pencil brush actually, Morphe M321. And now I'm going to blend it out with DM Me, which is a little bit of a lighter shade. And I actually might go halfers with DM Me and Embrace Me and just kind of stamp the brush in each of them. Tap it off and blend out that shade. And I kind of feel like I got carried away a little bit on the left hand side. So I'm going to go back in with my large fluff brush here and just dip it into silk robe and just kind of clean up right there. And that looks really, really pretty. And now for a hit of sparkle. So I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I can use this one here. It's the E20 short shader, but it is small enough to get into the smallest of areas. So I'm going to take this concealer on my brush just like that and I'm just going to bring it up into the crease a tiny bit here. It just seems to lighten the whole inside corner of my eye. So I take it up further on the top than I do really closer to the bottom. So down here I'm going to stay like even before like the halfway point of my eye. But here I like to bring it up just a little bit more and I kind of follow around the curvature of my eye. I'm going to use this eye shading E55 now. I'm going to take Flirty Pop with Love Spark and just kind of 
tap it into each of them here. Okay, maybe we'll try this exact blend, the E32, but I will wet it a little bit. I'm gonna use Make a Dewey by Milani, just like that. And now we're probably gonna to have to go in, add some of that dark brown shade again, just to blend it out so the sparkle isn't too far into the eye here. And just for a little tiny bit of definition, I think I'm gonna take an even smaller brush. This is the M506. I'm actually going to tap it into the black. I know I said I wasn't going to use black, but I feel like it got a little bit light on me with our brush that had some brown on it. So this was our M139. Go back into Spank Me and just top it over that black so it doesn't look too demanding, doesn't take focus away from the eye at all. So now at this point, before I add any liner or mascara or anything like that. I will spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to make sure that all of that powder, all of that shadow is set down and is not going anywhere. And I will be taking one of my sprays with me just to kind of give my face a spritz throughout the night. And already, you can, I'm not even sure if you can tell it, already it kind of looks like my blush is fading. I don't know if that's just me. It could just be me. Okay, so now all we have left is liner, Lashes, mascara, and lips. And lips, of course, don't take too long. So I'm going to just line my eyes a little bit here. That one I won't be needing to touch up throughout the night. And as for lashes, I am going to be using my House of Lashes Black Lash Glue. I'm using these Ardell Professional Remy Lashes. It says they are 100% premium Remy hair with Invisiband, which just means the band is like clear and not black. This is Style 781. So I don't know what style that is, but we're going to put them on. And I am going to be using my Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. So after lashes are applied, we'll be right back to do lip. These ones are a little funky because they don't have that shorter inner corner lash. It just all of a sudden has this like, boom, lashes. But I think, I think for a wedding look, that's okay. So I'm just going to quickly highlight the inner corner and under the brow with again that strobe shade here. I'm going to use an E30 pencil brush by Sigma and just pop it on the inner corner right here and then a little bit under the brow bone trying to not touch the eyebrow. If you end up getting mascara anywhere on your face <laughs> where it's not supposed to be, just take like wait for it to dry and then take a q-tip and just give it a wipe off and it'll come off like really really easy. So so now moving on to lip. Normally I would have used my lip injection extreme but I didn't. I forgot but that would make your lips a little plumper if you wanted that look. I am just going to outline my lips with my Morphe pencil in Love Bite first. So I do overline, I overline the bottom and the top and I leave the cupid's bow as it is but I focus on making this part a little longer or taller and this part a little like larger and then I bring it down into my natural curvature of my lips on the sides. And I will actually be filling in my entire lip with this pencil for having your lips last the longest is probably best filling them in with whatever lip liner that you've chosen to use because I think that's your best bet of having like a long lasting lip color throughout the night. And now I'm going to put on a little bit of this Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip in Celebrity Skin. So I'm just going to follow the outline of my lips and fill them in with this. And this matches this lip liner perfectly. I, now I have a choice between the liquid lip or the liquid lip, yes, the liquid lip which dries matte by Jeffree Star and this is I'm Nude which I would normally put on the center of the lip just to give it a little pop or I have the cream lipstick in Flirt by Morphe. So with Flirt it would give it more of a natural appearance instead of like a matte lip. So I would just kind of pat this onto the lip just like so and then you could always probably layer them so the shade I'm Nude I would put just on the center and then for a glossy finish you could use the Morphe lip gloss and this is the shade Oval and that is it for the completed makeup look. So just I would probably give my face one more quick spray and then I'll quickly just kind of list before I let you go quickly list the items I would bring with me just to make sure that my makeup stays put all night. So I would bring my lash glue just in case my lashes decided to pop off like anytime during the evening and I'll also bring tweezers so I can fix them. And then I would bring two setting sprays. So I have the mini of the Too Faced and this would just be to give my face like a refresher in the middle of the night. And this is my Urban Decay All Nighter just so my makeup doesn't go anywhere. This, I might do this one first and then this one. All of my lip products that I used, so my lip pencil, my two Jeffree Star liquid lips that are matte, my Morphe lipstick and the gloss because lipstick always does wear off the fastest. And then of course my concealer for any touch-ups during the night. And then 
and for concealer touch-ups I just use my finger and then for brushes I also have so I've got this one here and this would be mostly for powder my little makeup pouch that I would use just right here and then I have a tiny little small travel size of my shape tape so this would be for touching up after I've applied my concealer and that is my finished makeup look so I will post my finished look with my dress and everything on Instagram and I will try to insert pictures because obviously my hair is still in curlers they're gonna come out right away because it's time to go so I'm gonna get dressed do my curlers and put my jewelry on and I will be ready to go so keep posted for the finished look and I will also have the video on what I have in my purse and I will include all the makeup items as well so until next time you guys have a great evening happy date night because technically this is a wedding slash date night for myself and chad and we will talk to you soon